Good morning everyone, it's the second morning here, uh, there's a nice breeze going, so I'm staying in the shadow for a while, having my breakfast. Um, there's a long to-do list waiting for me, and I'm gonna start with the hydraulics, and then I think I'm going to kind of organize everything, because it's a super messy mess in my messy mess of a boat. Yeah. Last time on She Rules the Waves, I showed you a glimpse of tour life, as well as fixed the water pressure system, and installed my new sunshine of a lazy bag. This time I jumped knee deep into the hydraulics, I pimped the sides of my boat, and I installed the Missen lazy bag. We are soon about to cast off, and I couldn't do this without your support. So please consider becoming a patron, or at least click the like button and subscribe. Alright, so I'm about to go up to talk to some hydraulic experts. They think they could actually help me. This has been a huge problem to find people that uh, know what they're doing and know what I'm doing, especially if they're not into boats. Uh, but this guy seems to be able to help me, so um, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, so I went to see that guy in the hydro hydraulic store and he can probably help me, uh, but uh, I need some more information. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to remove this plug under there and bring it out with me so he can check the gauge and then I will have to like collect all the oil somehow uh, and then I have to measure for the hose that's going to be there going down there I hope there's room and uh, see where the autopilot is gonna be installed in the back in this compartment where the pump is going to sit somewhere around here and then uh, two hoses are going to go to those copper tubing up there uh, with the T-connector and then we should be all good. I want one of those on my boat. Okay, I'm back at the boat. I have to give a huge up to Francesco, uh, who helped me with all these things. He did not only help me to do all these things, he helped me understand why I would have certain things and not other things. <laughs> As you can see, I know the uh, lingo by now. So if you're ever in Pescara and need some help with hydraulics, I highly recommend Corema, Corema, something like that. Francesco, he's your man. And now, of course, the next step is to install it all. <laughs> but I think I'll have some dinner and maybe a beer first. Well, uh, I did the lines on one side of the lace bag, so I figured I'd do that too before I call it a night. There's little clouds coming in, but it's still super warm. And I'm really looking forward to the summer. And rightly so, an amazing summer it was. Although things won't go exactly as planned, but you'll find out more about that later on. So stay tuned for the upcoming adventures of Sedna. Yeah, so I must say I really like this yellow color. I'm gonna see tomorrow when they're both up and see what they look like from a little bit far. Okay, so there's some aligning to do and then I think I'm done. This is not a scientific test in any way, but I bought these vape thingies that's supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. I have one in my aft cabin, I have one in the cockpit one while I'm here, and I have one in the saloon. And so far, I've seen one that doesn't tell much because I usually don't see them at all. I just get a lot of bites. But so far, 
I've only had, I think, one bite or two, maybe. Um, so uh, the test keeps going. Okay, uh, I think I'll, I'm calling it for today. Um, except for that package situation, which was really annoying. Um, the thing is that uh, one of the packages came here, but they sent it back to Spain for some reason. Um, so it's not going to be able to come here while I'm still here. So I'll have to take care of the toilet and stuff like that just before we leave. Um, and the second thing is the uh, VHF AIS that is backordered and it's not coming until June 15th, which is cutting it a little close. But except for that whole package debacle, um, I've had a good day. I like the new lazy bag. Uh, tomorrow I'm putting up the other one. I also like the uh, huge uh, wind turbine. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'll figure that out later. And I am super happy about getting all the hydraulic stuff. So tomorrow, that's what I'm gonna start with, installing the whole hydraulic stuff. But for now, it's beer, it's sunset, it's warm air, and uh, soon it's bed. So till tomorrow, take care. Okay, so this is the return end of the hose for the autopilot that is going to go there. Yes, I am going to figure all these cables out. Uh, the other end of it is has a special connection that I will mount on my own later because I could not possibly fit a thing like this through all the nooks and cranes in the boat. So first thing I did, forgot to film that, was to saw a little, uh, you can't see it from here, you'll see it from the other side, to put the hose through here. And then in the last rat in the cockpit, it comes out here. This is where I saw the little extra hole. And then I was really nervous how this would work, but I kind of just pushed it down there. And here it is. So this end is going to go in there, around, into the nether, and so on. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is cut those two copper wires up there and uh, put on a T-connection. Yep, success, it's off. Oh my god, this is painful, it's messy, and it hurts, but first T coupling is in place. Ooh, let's hope it's tight. Let's hope it doesn't leak. Okay, I'm not done yet, but the first two and the third is ready down there. Uh, I can assure you that this was the messiest and toughest uh, job I've done so far. Uh, it was so greasy and sweaty and it was hot and it was miserable, but I do feel kind of proud of myself. So I'm gonna take a break and then, and then I'm gonna keep going and uh, installing the actual pump. And uh, when that is done, I guess I should refill the oil into the uh, canister and uh, see if it leaks. Because if it do, I'm probably going to jump overboard and swim and never come back. Okay, next up, 
uh, is to connect the power for the pump into the autopilot and then the rudder sensor uh, is going to be connected here and it's going to be mounted back there somewhere I'm going to figure out that next but first the power here well it did leak and I could hear the squirting from the cockpit as I turned the wheel I didn't jump overboard but I did call it a day and went to bed to get a fresh new angle on the situation in the morning Good morning. Um, it is uh, no sun today and it's actually raining a little. I felt a couple of drops, uh, but it's still really warm, so I'm sure it will be fine. Um, let's see what we have to do today. I guess I will give one more try on the hydraulics and if I can't figure that out, I'll probably move on and let someone else take a look at it. So. Uh, Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I just have to give up. I can't do this. It is this one and this one. They're new T connectors on old copper tubing and I just can't get them to stop leaking. I've redone it twice, but no good. I need help. Okay, so after the initial rush of being able to figure out the hydraulic system and then realizing that I didn't, uh, I needed a win. So this is what I did. Yep. There's going to be another one on the other side and then I'm going to have a logo just about there. And there you go. Thanks to Ocean Logo for providing me with these awesome stickers. It's very yellow, can't deny that. Okay, I uh, actually uh, got an email from Francesco, the guy who sold me all the stuff, and he said that it might be the fact that the tubing is uh, 3.8 inches instead of 10 millimeters, which would be a difference of about uh, not even half a millimeter, and that could be enough for the leakage. So tomorrow, it's Monday, I'm going back there and see if we can figure it out. So the hope still lives. So I'm sitting here watching the sunset and uh, I uh, have a little hope for the hydraulic thingies uh, tomorrow, but we'll see. I decided that I would go and take a shower and not do anything more dirty tonight. So uh, I'm enjoying a beer, watching the sunset. Then I'm going to organize the crap of the uh, salon and my bedroom so uh, that's not going to be much fun to watch I think but you'll see the before and the after. Next time I'll tell you more about what a difference half a millimeter can make. The journey continues and as soon as we cast off I'll try to release the story on a weekly basis to give us all a chance to catch up. Please consider becoming a patron as I could really need all the help I could get to get the story going but I'll tell you more about that later. So until next time, take care.